Okay, so for the next part, what we need to do is, is to take our design and to transfer it onto a piece of mount board. Um, you can do this with lino, but for this particular style, because we're working mainly with straight lines, it actually works much better on mount board. So we're going to have to trace again, but we're not going to have to do the shading. We want to try and keep our tracing paper straight. And again, you want to press quite firmly with your pencil so that your lines will transfer well onto your mount board because obviously the mount board is black so if you don't press nice and firmly there is a chance that you won't be able to see them very clearly. Okay, so once you've done that, you're going to flip it over, just like we did before, making sure that the lead side, the side that you've just drawn on, is face down on top of the black side of your mount board. There is a black and a white side, and it's important that we do it on this side. So with it face down, you'll probably find it easier um, to just have a little bit of masking tape on the corners, just to hold it in place. You're going to go over the top of those lines. Now you, you do want to press firmly and you can just see that lines come out there. It might be a little bit difficult to see on camera but they are just coming out. So then you're going to go over all of those lines that you've just drawn. It's probably going to take you guys um, half a lesson to trace it out I actually, I would imagine that the tracing and the copying back on is probably going to be about a lesson and a half in total because it, it is, it does take a while and it does also make your hand hurt a little bit.
Okay, so that's actually showing up quite nicely. I'm just going to draw a border around the edge of this with my ruler. Like so. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to cut out the boxes and I'm going to go into more detail in that in just a second. You need to have your drawing next to you because there are going to be some lines that haven't copied out as well as you'd like them to and it's going to get a little bit confusing. So you need to make sure that you've got your drawing in front of you so that you can double check it. You might actually be better off working from your tracing because the, the drawing will be in reverse so it's slightly harder to read and to understand. But just make sure that you've got the tracing out in front of you to just help you with some of those lines that might have sort of disappeared when you traced it out so you know what it is that you're doing. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start cutting it out and that's the bit that I'm going to show you next. <laughs> 